When I started uploading videos on YouTube, I was spending a huge amount of money on data. I was spending a lot because um, some of my videos were as high as 2 gig, one video 2 gig, and I was uploading up to 7 videos in a week. So I was spending over 14 gig of videos only, uploading videos in a week, which is very very bad because I didn't have the money to sponsor the videos like sponsor my youtube channel so i kept on researching looking for softwares that could reduce video size but keep the quality i came across lots of software but no they were all messing with the quality none was keeping the quality the quality wasn't high so until i found this software guys this software looks like magic it reduced the video size by 70 percent while keeping the video quality at 99 percent the video quality does not reduce but the video size reduces by 70 percent this software has reduced a file of 1.5 gig to over 300 mb for me yeah i know what i'm saying your video size go by by 70 percent it goes down by 70 percent so um watch this video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like the video at the end don't skip a part of this video because there are lots of information that will be dropping throughout the video so um please don't forget to subscribe and follow me as i show you how So guys, I just finished editing this video and then I'm going to show you how to reduce the file size. So we live in different countries where probably data is an issue. So first I'll click on export. I'm using the Filmora X here. So um, my screen might be different but you don't need this process. I'm just going to show you um, everything so you won't feel it's a fake video. So we click on export. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to choose a random video name. Uh, so okay, let me use test test file okay and as you can see right here for Filmora um, the file size is 655 MB but thanks to Filmora X um, Filmora X automatically reduces the file size although it doesn't it doesn't reduce it as much as I want I still have a way of another tool I will use to reduce the file size which I will be showing you but Filmora S will reduce the file size as well but for here the file size is 655 MB so next thing I'll do is click on export and then give it some seconds to start exporting the file so as you can see right here the file um, exporting has begun and um, it's around according to Filmora it to take over 21 minutes for it to be completed so what I'll do right now is pause the video and then um, once it's done I'll resume the video okay right now we are currently at 98% and I have like 20 seconds left for um, the exporting to be completed so I resume the video so you uh, you guys can follow up with the whole process because most videos out there are fake. They just pause the video and then do something else without showing you the whole process. So 99% um, we're almost done with exporting the video and um, it should be done in about now. Okay, so now I have to find the video target like uh, with the location where the video was saved. So I'll click on find target. I will recommend you guys download and use Filmora if you're not using a good video editor because Filmora is the best out there for me. So this is where the file was saved to in the Filmora output folder. Um, okay, let me show you the file size. Currently the file size is 250 MB instead of the initial 600 MB. But I'm not still impressed with this file size because data is quite expensive in my country. So I have to reduce the file size. So if um the output size depending on your um file editor your video editor depends on the output size but mine is um 250 mb filmora has processed it to 250 mb so now i have to um use um a software so i'm going to show you the software and the whole process but before that let's open the file and see how the current video quality is so we're going to compare the before and after so before processing the video or before reducing the video and after so i'm going to play the video in the full screen so okay allow it to load yeah use for best experience make sure you're using your earpiece so as you can see right now the video quality is awesome and we've not touched it yet it's still this is the raw so okay let me skip to the proper part so this is the video um just processed from Fimora. i've not reduced the quality i've not reduced the size is still at the quality I um, exported it from Filmora so this quality is good um, so now let us reduce the video size and see if it will affect the quality 
so keep note of the video size the video size is 250 mb so um the video the name of the folder um, the name of the software i'll be using is called um handbrake so the video file link can be found in the video description so click on um so first i'll open the software i'll give you some time to load because my pc is quite overclocking okay i got to minimize and yeah this is it so this is how the welcome page looks like should i call it the welcome page or the home page um there are two options if you want to up, um make a batch video like you want to reduce lots of videos you click on the folder option but if it's a single video is to use the file option so for this video i'm just working on one video so i'm going to use um the second option which is the file option but if you have more than one video that you want to decompress you have to use the folder option but for this video i'll use the file option so i'll click on the file option and then this menu will pop up so i have to locate the video uh, location so the video this is the video we're working on as you can see it's 250 mb so we'll click on open and then give it some seconds to process sorry to load up the video so it has finished loading up the video and uh, this is where we do the settings but first let me change okay yeah maximize the screen so you can see it properly so this is how it looks like here it loads it just summarizes the video and everything so um the first thing you have to do in this page is um so, okay there are lots of presets we can use but let me just use my um normal preset which is this one i'll show you i'll get back to that but let, i just want to explain some process that's why i'm using the pre already saved preset so first thing you have to do is to check, click on this um checkbox the web optimized checkbox make sure you click on it because you want to optimize the video for web upload youtube is a web so you have to optimize it and make sure you also click on the second checkbox which is to align for av stats and um, the video is in mp4 format but after processing um it will be changed to mkv format so but don't mess with it just leave it at the um format it automatically chooses for you but after processing it it changes to mkv format uh, so okay so once you are done with here the next part is the dimension this gives you information about the video size orientation and stuff you don't need to do anything there this is where we do the whole process of editing the video so you come to the video uh listen there are lots of presets you can use normally very fast and stuff but i'm going to show you the presets i use personally so what you have to do now as you can see this constant quality here mine is currently at 22 you can keep it between 22 23 between 22 and 23 that's how you, where you have to keep the quality anything higher than that um would be good for your video the next thing is the encoder preset um this is I don't know how to explain this but the lower it is the better your video quality and the lower your video size you get so if you keep it at placebook or very slow yes it takes more time to process the video but you get a higher video quality and a lower video size but if you keep it at um the highest point which is um fast or very fast the video quality would be low and the file size will also not be that low so i'll advise you to keep it at slow or very slow but if you're if you are if you are using a, a flagship computer a very very good pc then move it to placebook but um i'll keep mine at very slow because i want um the video should to be processed fast so um the lower it is don't forget the lower this um setting is either placebook or very slow the higher your video quality and then the lower the file size so what we're looking for is a very low file size and high video quality so we'll keep it at very slow so keep yours at very slow and um that's just all you need to change you don't need to change anything with this software with handbrake you just need to change the constant quality and then um, the encoder presets keep it at very slow and then at 23 so um once you are done click on save new presets the reason you have to save this new preset anytime you want to um, change a new video sorry want to reduce the quality the qu the size of a new video you don't need to come back here and start um, remembering all the settings again so once you've done the settings once just click on save 
um, preset so for here i'll use youtube tutorial as the preset name and then let me show you what i'll do okay so now i've saved the preset right let's say okay come back to the video and then mess up with this mess with the settings okay let me move the settings and um, try to make it different from the original one like the normal one once you come back to custom presets this is the preset i saved youtube tutorial and you see after clicking on it it changes everything back to the preset i saved so you don't need to be changing it every time so once you are done you click on start encode this is when the video starts processing it will process the video reduce the size and preserve the quality for you so um click on start encode and then give it some time so this checkbox over here this big box the box has to fill up so i'm going to pause the video till um it's almost done and then i'll resume the video so i need it to take about 17 to 20 minutes according to the software so okay it's almost done right now as you can see i've spent over 15 minutes and um i have to wait for like three seconds more to complete the process so just bear with me for the remaining three seconds while we wait for um the software to complete this process so three more seconds come on bro hurry up hurry up hurry up and um right now it's moxing it it's done but it has it has to mox it and then compile the file and then now it's finished so it's complete we have to um locate this the new file the new video so i have a folder where i keep the videos you have to choose a default folder where all your videos are saved to so it doesn't save in the folder where it was taken from so remember the initial file was 250 mb so now i have to go back um so okay i save it in my youtube folder this is where i keep my videos all my videos i have a specific folder for all my youtube videos so after making my videos i don't just delete them i keep the videos because i might need them for future purposes i don't know why but i'm just saving them so okay these are some of my folders so it's usually saved in my final product and here yeah, resized the resized folder so yeah this is the new folder as you can see it's renamed as test file dash one dot mkv so i told you so this is the file size 75 mb the initial file size was 250 mb but this app has reduced the file size by over 70 percent saving me a lot of data so let's compare it and see if it's the quality is as good as um the previous one okay um play the video okay so this is i have to put it on, on full screen so as you can see this is the video quality nothing changed it's should i say 99 percent because nothing can be 100 percent but it's 99 percent similar to the initial video in based on quality but the file size there's a 70 percent difference in size it has saved me over um 70 percent of the initial data so uploading it will save me a lot of data the data i would have used in uploading the initial video i can use it to upload three more videos if i reduce the file size so um as you can see the quality is still the same awesome quality if you compare the previous quality to this one nothing changed significantly the file size is still 200 sorry from 250 mb to 75 mb which is very very awesome so this is how i reduce the file size um this is currently at 75 mb please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel um we will be uploading lots of videos i'll be uploading lots of tutorial videos in the future so please subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell and if you have questions don't forget to ask me questions in the comment section the comment section is open for us to interact so ask me questions in the comment section where you face difficulty i'll explain to the best of my knowledge so thanks for watching guys and um, do have a nice day